Welcome to the another video about the headlights and uh, in here we have a little bit of nasty place and stuff like that this is a Toran but probably it will work for any Volkswagen cars so you had normally zero position you have the just uh, normally little lights and then you have a uh, big headlights so it's like gabarit yeah <laughs> definitely close light or the low beam light and then you have of course on the dash which one is high beam light high beam low beam uh, low beam on uh, only uh, parking lights and only nothing this is how it have to be normally but sometimes you can find the cars where your lights automatically goes on it depends on your ignition position so when you turn ignition and just switch it only on normally and your lights come on so that's not good if you don't like it what you have to do take the diagnostic in this case i will use the hotel diagnostic uh, it fails for the uh vas diagnostic i did not didn't did, did knew why but anyway uh, you have to find the module which one is for the um for the where it is electronic central electronic zero nine yes go inside uh click connect and after you're going to connect little lighty screen you can read the trouble colors and things like that but that's the not mine thing you go to coding and if you need to activate it as well how to activate or deactivate yes this what you have to do read down the always original software coding because if you fail something you will be able to restore that's why diagnostic shows it in the first screen so click set values and now you need to find out exactly what you want to do and the lighting things in is inside of the first module so you have foot wheel lights installed daytime in right scandinavian activate exactly you need to click edit button and uh in this case we already switch it off but i will show you how to switch it on so just click day turning daytime running lights active scandinavia click one and it gives you the option which one is active so now you click ok button and you see the code is being changed it was zero zero now it's zero eight just confirm it and you can see your current value code and new value code so you can see the differences definitely you can see and just click ok button and waiting till it's coding and now at the moment it says recoded so that means control unit is recorded and yes exactly uh now the lights is on so we switch it on normally uh low beam and when ignition is on uh, the lights is off then let's go ahead and see what we can get so the light is off yes in the zero position let's go all the way around and you can see then the lights is on somebody like it somebody not but anyway when your engine is not starting your battery is being drained out very very fast and you can run out of your battery and if battery is a little bit old and uh, then that could be a problem because it's 55 watts each of uh each of light bulb as minimum so you can switch on the gabarits, so this means um, um, parking lights, I would say. Yes, parking lights. So now it's parking lights on. Let's go all the way around. And we can see, yes, it's only parking lights on. But this is the way what you can do to low down the economy of your battery. Or again, you will switch uh, low, low light beam. Um, here you go it's on so everybody did understand everybody seems to be fine but how to program this thing that's the way that's the way ignition is still on our battery is pretty good when you do it you can put on charger if your battery is not good so let's click ok button let's click or oh, escape and let's go again coding you have to go coding so that's called the automatic lights recoding here you go and you go set values and uh, what i like about this thing then you can choose always you see oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah you can code so much in here i don't even like to test it all out but i don't know if you need you just pause it yes
so let's go ahead this one in here this one in here you just click pause buttons and you will see this one in here and this one in here this one in here this one in here in here in here so plenty of things which one you can ah your resolution yes how bright they are park park like dimming light yes very cool crazy stuff in here isn't it look what you can code what coding it's mean yes it's mean a lot so this is actually a long coding yes it's a long coding not the short one and pretty hard one this is if you don't know exactly what number each number means but anyway let's go ahead and click edit button and now as you can see there is very good thing if you click it off click it on click it off click it on click it off click it on click it off very nice i like it and you can click something else if you need coming home active uh we did want nothing of these so we click ok button and we click confirm and it says our new code again it's off now and it should be just perfect so video in six minutes control unit has been recoded so now let's test it again to make sure uh all good so now as you can see lights is parking lights uh, low beam lights and should be off now so go around and see if the tower run turns off yes look perfect the lights is off fully so if you need get useful uh, of the video don't forget to put the like button don't forget to click subscribe button we have plenty of interesting video in our youtube channel so stay tuned uh stay electronic i don't know what this thing little is um we don't care actually <laughs> i don't know who done this but that what we've been asked to just reprogram it a device what i'm using is a j2534 ecu programming device maxi flash another thing what you can use of course is launch i did not test with that probably yes probably no doesn't matter at all so at the moment i need to test that my battery not dried out lovely jolly all starts good all good so thanks for watching and see you in the next videos bye bye good luck